Hi everybody, and today we are going to look at the open source upgraded electronic fun kit. So I got this at Amazon for $15. So let's open it and see what's inside. And right here, we have some wires. If you have a short wire, you can connect it to a longer wire and make it way longer. And right here, we have our breadboard inside this packaging. And right here is our power supply module. This is how we get the power. And so right here, we have some wire. We have long wire and we have short wire. And this, everybody, these, are capacitors. These we have buttons inside and also some light sensors. And these are something that can let you have electrical circuits like all over the board. And so right here, these are for sisters. And these are another group of capacitors. And these are LEDs. In this little pack, we have red, yellow, blue, green, and white. Right here are some more capacitors. And this can connect the space, the area between the breadboard where it's divided. Right here are some cylinder shaped capacitors. And these are all resistors. And this is. So let's make a basic circuit using our breadboard. So this is our finished product. As you can see, we have put the power supply module on here so we can get some power. We put a DC-AC adapter right here and plugged it into a normal output. Now, all we have to do to light the bulbs is turn this on. And you can know that it's on or off by this little LED light right there. If it's on, that means that the power is on too. If it's off, then the power is off. So all you have to do is put it right here. And you get the light. Now, here's how we did it. So first, let's turn this off. Right here, we put all of these cables into positive, and we put this resistor into negative, and it made the electricity a bit less, the inflow, it made it a bit less. And so then we connected it right here, and so since it was next to, it came through, and it could have came through if it was right there too. Now next, we put in the LEDs and made sure that they're both lined up with these wires. Because if they weren't lined up, then they wouldn't work. So, all we had to do after all of this, see, is do this. This completes the circuit. Now, if we had used a resistor that to block more, electricity, the lights would have been duller. And if we had one that blocked even less, they would be really bright. But if they get too bright, they could burn. And so, that's why we have resistors. If we didn't have a resistor, the bulbs couldn't do this. Now, you might be wondering, why couldn't they just get a few of these and a few resistors and then plug them all in 
so then that they could all light up at the same time. Well, there's not enough energy to go around this thing so many times. It can only go in one time and come out one time too. So you can't, you know, make this wire split up. It can go in only one time and come out one time too. Now, you connected the breadboard, you could use the input from another breadboard to power this. But that would only give you two, and the input and output wires would have to be on the other breadboard. Well, thank you for watching everyone. Here, the lights will glow.